The federal capital, Kathmandu, has continued to report over 100 cases for the past several days, confirming that the coronavirus in the capital has reached community spread. As earlier reported by the health experts, the Kathmandu Valley could well turn into a COVID-19 hotspot if timely measures are not taken. But given the scenario, it might already be too late to take drastic preventive measures. Good morning, I'm Abhide Shrestha and these are the headlines of the hour. 526 coronavirus cases reported yesterday to take the total number of COVID-19 cases in the country to 24,958. Death tally climbs to 99. Following a nine-day hiatus, Chairman Duo of the ruling party resumed talks which, as usual, remain indecisive. Premier Oli agrees to call the Standing Committee meeting. Israel and the United Arab Emirates reach a deal to normalize relations with Israel agreeing to suspend its controversial plans to annex parts of the occupied West Bank. And RB Leipzig reached their first Champions League semi-final just 11 years after their formation, defeating Atletico Madrid 2-1. Nepal reported 526 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, taking the infection tally to 24,958. Speaking at the regular press meet yesterday afternoon, spokesperson for the health ministry, Dr. Jagish Gautam, informed that 9,559 swab samples were tested through the PCR method in 38 laboratories across the country yesterday, taking the total test tally to over 483,000. The Kathmandu Valley has registered the highest 127 new cases yesterday. Kathmandu District alone reported 111 new cases, while Lalitpur reported 11 and Paktapur reported 5 cases yesterday. Likewise, Monang District registered 88 new cases yesterday, while 38 cases were recorded in Parsa, 31 in Saptari and 28 in Mokwanpur. Meanwhile, 16,837 individuals have recovered from COVID-19 across the country so far, as 109 individuals were discharged from different hospitals and isolation centers throughout the country yesterday. With this, the recovery rate in the country stands at 67.5%. Meanwhile, the death tally due to COVID-19 in the country has reached 99, as seven more deaths were confirmed yesterday. A 40-year-old man from Siraha, 85-year-old woman from Dhanusa, 18-year-old male from Acham, and a 57-year-old man from Biratnagar have died due to COVID-19. Likewise, swab samples of a 65-year-old man and a 50-year-old man from Bara district who had died yesterday morning, and a 45-year-old man from Mohottari who had died on 9th of August tested positive to the virus yesterday. Another COVID-19 from Biratnagar Metropolis, receiving treatment at the isolation ward of Koshi Hospital, has succumbed to coronavirus. The 30-year-old male had been admitted at the hospital yesterday afternoon following fever, cough and breathing problems. His swab samples had been tested and the results came out positive for the virus late in the evening after his death. As the number of cases in the Kathmandu Valley has been increasing with a daily record spike, the government has restricted the entry of people from outer districts. Likewise, several local levels within the valley have started sealing high-risk areas. Despite the suspension of the long route vehicle services, the flow of vehicles carrying travel permits and essential goods laden cargo vehicles was high in the various transits entering the capital. The Ministry of Home Affairs, in the meantime, has decided to stop issuing vehicle permits, concluding that the influx of vehicles is a major reason behind the surge in the number of cases in the capital. The Ministry has also restricted the movement of vehicles carrying route permits that were issued earlier. With the new provision, only the person behind the wheel and the assistant would be allowed to travel in vehicles carrying petroleum products and food items. Meanwhile, the local levels have cordoned off several high-risk areas in the valley with the coordination of the Nepal police as 25 areas in the valley have been sealed from 7 to 10 days. As of latest updates, 306 policemen have been tested positive to the virus across the country as cases have been rising at an alarming rate. A total of 30 policemen outside the police headquarter have already been infected. Likewise, the armed police force has installed separate barracks for the infected and non-infected personnel as a total of 194 armed police force personnel have tested positive to the virus across the country. 
The chairman duo of the ruling Nepal Communist Party, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and Executive Chairman Pushpa Kamal Dahal resumed their stalled meeting from yesterday in a bid to break the ongoing political stalemate. During yesterday's meeting, Premier Oli, according to sources, agreed to call the Standing Committee meeting. We have more in this report. During the meeting held at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatar on Thursday, Prime Minister Oli, despite giving his consent for the Standing Committee meeting, however, proposed that a consensus should be reached between the two chairmen on the proposed agenda. Executive Chairman Dahal on his part said that he was ready to discuss the agenda prior to reaching an agreement. Executive Chairman Dahal meanwhile conveyed Prime Minister Oli's proposal to the senior leader duo Chalanath Khanal and Madhav Kumar Nepal during a gathering organized by the disgruntled group in the capital's Thapagao later Thursday afternoon. Meanwhile, during the meeting at Balwatar, both the chairman mulled over the working schedule of the upcoming general convention, cabinet reshuffle and power sharing of the two chairmen. Leaders Bishnu Paudil, Shankar Pokhril and Janardhan Sharma were also present in Balwatar but were not a part of the meeting. The Hull Secretariat, meanwhile, informed that the meeting ended with positive vibes but did not reach any agreement. The ongoing standing committee meeting, which started from 24th of June, has remained indecisive due to the ongoing dispute between the top brass leaders. The dispute has intensified in the party as majority of the disgruntled committee members, including Executive Chairman Dahal, had demanded the resignation of Prime Minister Oli from their dual positions. However, Prime Minister Oli, despite all the criticism, has not budged from his stand. The National Human Rights Commission has alleged the government of not doing the needful to rescue the trapped Nepali migrant workers in foreign countries. We have more in this report. Issuing a report concerning the rights of migrant workers, the human rights watchdogs alleged the government of the failure in identifying the target group and help them return to their homeland. The NHRC has concluded that the role of the Nepalese diplomatic agencies in the Gulf countries and in Malaysia was far from satisfactory as they had not helped the cause of the migrant workers who were stranded due to lack of jobs amid the coronavirus pandemic. Chairman of the Human Rights Commission, Anupraj Sharma, blamed the government in failing to identify the COVID-19 infected Nepali migrant workers and lactating mothers for their timely rescue efforts. The report published on Thursday states that, due to the lack of coordination between the different government bodies, many Nepali migrant workers have been forced to live in a sorry condition abroad, stating that the government lacked minimal sympathy while charging exorbitant airfares from the migrants who had lost their jobs. The commission said that the government can still work towards bringing the Nepali workers who desperately want to return to their homeland. Land. The government on its part has claimed that it rescued some 50,000 Nepali nationals from 85 countries using 319 chartered flights. Meanwhile, the foreign ministry has said that over 94,000 Nepalese living abroad have applied at different diplomatic agencies to return home. In our public voice segment, we had asked the local residents of Sankwa Sava, how has the local level authorities contributed in disaster management? Let's take a look at what they had to say. तर त्यो बंदा अगाड़ी कून कून थामते हैं हम रहते अलग ती अफ्तारा सं जहाँ ते सम्मान ना रहे सं बंदे कुरा मते पहले ने आंकलन करे को त्यो अनुसार योजना करे को ते ते ती पाई देना कार्य बिधि का सेरी बनाओ ने बंदे कुरा में पहले कुरो स्थानीय सरकार साथे तो नुपरो त्यो नौ बैरा है को मत देख चु बैडी त्यहाँ गर्नुपर्ने कामहरु चाहिँ उहाँहरुले केही मात्रामा चाहिँ पुरै फुल्ली पनि म भन्दिन फुल्ली पनि उहाँले खासै गरे जस्तो लाग्दैन बाढी भइरहेहरु बारम्बार गइरहेको पनि देखिन्छ र त्यस्तो केही सोधो भनि पनि उनीहरुले चाहिँ फलाण निकाय जा 
मातृ निकाय जा बने रहा सोमपर का करने जस्ता कुरा हरु कारे रहती टाहरे को महिले पाए कुछ जो किम न्यू निकारन गानों को लाइक पूर्व तैयारी को कार्यक्रम से गाने को देख कुछ And it's time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. And here's the question. What's your take on vandalism at schools that were being used as makeshift quarantine homes? Your options are A, mismanagement, B, lack of ownership, and C, mannerless. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And that's all for the moment. Keep watching Kantipur Television HD for more news and entertainment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.